What's going on guys? I hope you've all been doing well since the last time I saw you in the last video. Um, I know there's a very few number, there's only like less than a thousand of you guys, less than 800 currently, but the last video on the P, uh, the SIG P365 Macro, that video did pretty well. Um, at the time of me making this video, it's almost at 4,000 views, which is good for our channel considering, you know, algorithms don't usually like people like me and what I do. So um, I just got back from Iraq Veteran 8888 Range Day, the 10th annual one, and there was a whole lot of awesome products that I saw there. There always is. There's, there, I don't, you can't find enough time in the days that you're there to shoot everything that you want to shoot. There's just too much going on. It's always awesome. But one of the things that I was really, really, really pleased by when I picked up and shot, I'll probably even put some of that footage in this video, like maybe like right after this when I get done talking. I really, really enjoyed this gun, like a lot. This is the SAR USA, and this one, I'm, this is the P8. So yeah, here's the box, it comes in a nice box. I picked this one up at Moss, believe it or not. Again, guys, I came back, I, would, I was only back home for two days from the range. I go down to Moss just to, just to chop it up and talk and you know, hang out and everything. And I look in the used case and what do I find? The SAR USA. P8L, this bad boy. Um, I'm really, really excited that I was able to pick this up at the used price that I did. Um, these are already very, very nicely priced handguns. This one in particular, you can pick up like brand new for under 600, probably around 600, including tax. Um, I was able to pick this one up for a very nice deal. If you guys are not familiar with Moss and you're a local Georgia content creator or just a buyer, especially if you're a content creator, you are not doing yourself justice by not going down there and talking to them. If you go in there with cash and a negotiating mindset, talk to Michelle, tell her I sent you, especially, like I said, especially if you're a content creator, they would love to have people like you in there to do business with them and to, you know, get as much out there as possible. They'll help you if you help them. You scratch their back, they scratch your back, 100%. But I was able to find this beast, which is great, because like I said, I had a whole lot of fun shooting it. It was, as far as handguns go, the, the P8L and the K12 were probably my favorite things that I picked up out there other than um, these really super, super, super fancy 1911s that were made by Masterpiece Arms. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to be able to get out to their facility and give you guys a facility tour and show you some of the awesome, awesome handguns that they had. I mean, I was able to air rack one of these things without even trying, it was awesome. Not this but the Masterpiece Arms. But back to this, these things are freaking awesome. I would really like to get my hands on the K12, but for what I pay, I mean, for what you pay, you get a very, very nice firearm. I wish I would have weighed this thing before I came out here to do the video so I could tell you guys the weight on it, because it is a little hefty. Um, and let's just go ahead and, you know, chamber's clear. We're not playing with a loaded gun, not yet. So yeah, this thing's pretty freaking awesome. You've got some nice cuts on the slide. You've also got comp, or not a comp, I always, I, I always say this. You've got a ported barrel, and this thing shoots pretty damn good. Um, it's, it's They're similar to a CZ. I'm sure you're looking at it and you're thinking it looks like a CZ. It's very similar to one, but at a very, very, very marginal fraction of the cost. So in the interest of keeping this video going, I'm gonna pop these ear pro in real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and get shooting. You guys might be wondering, Brass, why do you have purple fingertips? So if you guys look out there, I've added a little bit of Halloween flair. If you guys are as nerdy as me, you might've played Pokemon and stuff when you were kids. That's ghastly. I'm, I'm almost positive that it was ghastly. I tried my best to make some purple ghastly um, faces. Uh, and also I'm gonna have a camera set up on this side so you guys can see more of the action from the firearm itself this time. Um, and also, I did order some mics, so very soon, hopefully within the next two or three videos, they'll come in, and from now on, you guys will have a lot better crisper audio. Um, so, one more shout out before I get started. I want to thank, uh, it was Ammunition Depot that was out at the event. Katie Powers was the representative that I spoke with. She was freaking awesome, and they, are, they provided the ammo that is going to be used for this video today. So had to give them an honorable mention. I really appreciate it. Katie, you were a trooper. You were doing great work out there. Of course, we would love to see you guys out at an event like that again. So yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, get this ear pro in and let's see here. 
trying to do this as much in one take as I can. I hate turning off the camera and having to do other stuff. So let's just get this one going. Bear with me, guys. If anything, this is probably uh, probably a little funny getting to see the, the full Monty of how things go. All right. Get that one over there. Get it a little angle up. Nice. All right, we got that one going. So that one's gonna capture all the cool stuff from the gun and then I can give you guys both angles. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. All right. picked up the gun on their table I maybe missed out of the three guns that I had in the video that I took out at the the, um, the range day itself I think out of the three guns three full mags I may have missed like three or four rounds don't quote me but um, I'll add the footage to this video and you guys can see for yourself these firearms are amazing So I'm gonna end, I'm gonna call my shots on this one because that was just a little too easy. All right, so all right, I'm gonna try to go for uh, the purple heart first. Oh, I barely missed it. Got it. Okay. Uh, pink spade. Got the pink spade. All right, let's walk around right here. See if I can't get this guy out there. I got full gasleys all the way. That's pretty freaking awesome. I love this gun. I love this thing so much. Oh man, I really hope, I really, 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 really hope that SAR USA likes this video and maybe I can work out something awesome with them for a K-12. Nice little deal, guys. That'd be cool, K-12. All right. Oh gosh, this thing's so much freaking fun. All right, I got these other, I got this other ammo. I'm definitely loading it up. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more shooting, but gotta pause to come back so this is i'm loving this thing i know i get really excited about firearms all the time but for what this gun costs jesus christ it's less than the the p365 macro and i mean you guys just saw me just ding 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 so yeah let's get some more mags loaded up that was awesome all right so in the time that i loaded up these mags and came back i did put this camera right here because i'm going to end up doing a mag dump on one of these at some point and i really want you guys to see how flat this thing shoots it really is pretty freaking awesome so uh, once again thank you again ammunition depot first box of pmc bronze down let's keep on going uh, let's go for the purple heart again nice let's go for the pink spade Oh no, oh no. All right, pink spade, let's go for these ones back here. Nice. There we go, there we go, that's what we want. I love this thing, I, ah, gosh, I know. Like I said, I'm corny about guns. I get really excited, but this thing's awesome. Uh, let's go for it, uh, let's just, I'm just gonna try to walk them. Um, I'm gonna load up another mag and while I'm loading this mag, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the gun. Um, so, so far, oh God, you know, when I first, when I first got one in my hands, uh, after shooting it, like after, when I bought this one, I started playing around with it. I, I really didn't like the trigger at first. It's got a long reset. Um, I'm gonna get really, really close up to the camera on this to show that reset. Just, you know, just for, just for fun purposes. 
But after shooting it consistently, I mean, it, it feels good. It really doesn't feel that bad. Um, God. I, ooh. Oh. Everyone that I talk to about this thing, like my peers, whatnot, friends, other people in the industry, they all really, really like it. Nobody has anything bad to say. And more importantly, so far, no one has anything bad to say about the company. I haven't heard one negative thing about the company so far, and sometimes that tends to be something that's brought up first. So let's get this other mag in here, and I'm going to get real close again, like I said, and I'll show you guys this footage right here on this one. So right there, that's not bad at all, but all right, hopefully y'all can see. So here I'm holding the trigger, slow let go. That's the reset, and then... It is a pretty sensitive pull after that. So it's really not that bad. It just, it, it felt like it wasn't gonna be this good at first. Now it feels, doesn't feel bad. Really doesn't feel bad at all. So, um, all right, mag dump time. Flat shooter, baby, flat shooter. This thing is awesome. Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know what there is to complain about. I mean, I have no clue how to pronounce this. It's the, so yeah, S-A-R-U-S-A -S -S by Sarlamaz, Sarlamaz. Lamaz classes. Lamaz for men. Bang, bang. I mean, damn, thing's pretty cool. I know I'm butchering the name for sure. I'm sure someone's gonna comment in the, uh, down below the video and just make a joke about how bad I butchered it, but I don't care. You guys know I like to have fun. Nothing on this channel is too serious for too long because that's not fun. All right, so I'm going to show you guys in just a second once I get this loaded up what the, uh, because this, you know, is a uh, ported barrel. Obviously, it's getting a little, a little dirty on the end. So this gun would need a little bit more cleaning than your standard handgun would. Um, but if you're going to be running it for stuff like this, I mean, you don't care. If you're like me, you enjoy the time that you put into cleaning your firearms anyways. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, she's getting a little dirty, a little juicy, you know? But I mean, she's still shooting damn, damn, damn good. So uh, we're just gonna run one more through it just because, why not? gopher on the last one that is awesome yeah if you guys have not had the chance to check out the sar usa p8l i highly 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 recommend it this thing shoots really really well i mean i think the video speaks for itself pretty honestly i don't think i have to gas this gun up very much at all like i mean pfft, speaks for itself right so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm definitely going to try to stay more consistent because I, you know, that last video performed pretty well. Uh, so, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm sure you're going to be seeing a lot more from me for sure. I've got a lot of good plans in the works and a lot of good plans beyond just filming with guns. Um, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned.